So the clock is on. Uh, I'm so glad that there is that many carrot lovers here. Um, so this, uh, well, I am Mikel Cordovilla. I'm going to present you about uh, this uh, tool that we built for community-supported agriculture. So for uh, these kind of groups, uh, um, that basically, just explain a little bit the context. Uh, I don't know if you are familiarized with these com community-supported agriculture groups. Uh, basically, uh, maybe you, are, you, you have friends or maybe you already joined one of them. Uh, it's these groups that you get this basket of pages uh, and um, subscription base. So every week you get, get a basket of pages or any other kind of product uh, of proximity um, uh, that basically um, is run by a group, is run uh, by, the, by, the, by the group, and actually it puts close uh, the consumers and the producers. So basically all the products should come from the from, 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 from close farms and they can actually um, relay on each other. Basically, they are all running the group together. So one of the things that are very um, important is that the distribution and the production is proposed in this alternative model that we are not in this big uh, idea of big supermarkets and uh, breaking those, uh, those chains and basically distributing them and making them smaller that everyone gets closer to the producer and can, can also communicate to, to the producer and show them their, their needs. Uh, as I already mentioned, normally they are, they are running on a subscription base, so uh, that gives some commitment to everyone involved in the process. So basically, uh, you cannot ask only for one week, but you need to be uh, committed to the group for a longer period of time. And then the risk is shared because uh, basically bad years, the group will take those uh, veggies or any other kind of pro product. Uh, we, have, we are talking about groups that they, they can distribute dairy products, uh, fish, even uh, meat, whatever, whatever the group decides. And so it's, it's, it's helping that the bad years in the production, for example, will be dissipated uh, along the, the, the whole group members or the investment in case needs to, uh, the farmer needs to get more investment or whatever, you know, like uh, this can be all, always dissipated into the group. Um, so these kind of groups uh, are becoming quite popular. It's been already a few years that we have them all over the place. And um, it's very difficult to estimate how many of them are in, 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 in Europe in general because uh, there are so many reg regional differences. Every different country will call them in another way. Uh, the organizations that are on top of, on, of, that are trying to organize on a higher level, they are really um, calling things in a different way. But Urgency in 2015 made this an estimate of a broad number that is around the 3,000 CSAs running in Europe. Uh, this is, um, this is, really good. It's growing in popularity. We have, uh, we, we, we are getting there, you know. We are getting to a model that is, or, or we are getting to, to improve the model that uh, it makes those groups sustainable. But the main problem is that the, organiz the organization overhead that is being created. So groups are getting bigger and bigger. Uh, you can actually imagine how it is to organize a group of 350 people with multiple delivery points, with multiple uh, basket types uh, in, 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 in a city every week, for example. It gets completely complica uh, very complicated, and the, and the overhead for volunteers is getting really, um, really a problem for this, for, for this organization. So uh, the idea that we had with some CSAs and some other actors, it was to create a software that could, uh, well, is this one, open a litter, that could actually help uh, these groups to organize themselves and to reduce this overhead because uh, the tool will help them in, the, in, in all the processes, right? So, um, yeah, as, as I already mentioned, yeah, it's this tool that is a web-based tool that they can use for, for, for many things. The origin of it, uh, well, we have, for example, these two guys, they were two CSAs that were actually wi wishing to have something like that because their overheads were becoming very, very big. 
Um, here we, well, we uh, is the dev developers and the organizations that they, they actually uh, work on more on the need uh, on a technical perspective, and we got some funding from some uh, uh, Swiss uh, federal co uh, government and the canton. So uh, that was uh, four years ago when this, this project started. This was these were all the actors involved to build this this uh, software. And on the functionalities that we are covering uh, are all, all the workflows that can be interesting for this kind of um, organization. So it's managing the people, managing the subscription, making um, the design of the delivery plan for every, uh, every week, uh, the invoicing. We also have participation module because in some of those groups actually it's required to work a number of hours. Uh, report creation, well, and there are many, many, many other uh, functionalities that they are currently used, and uh, it's helping them on these processes, right? Um, just a little bit of the architecture, that's the only technical, or so the technical part that I have here. So the architecture in this, uh, for, this, for this tool, actually we have a central server that is actually feeding on uh, multiple frontends and databases. So, Every CSA is owner of their own CSA um, uh, database, and um, in order to uh, reduce the cost and the and the cost and the uh, manage well, the organi um, the, uh, in order to reduce the server cost and the server uh, organization, actually we actually can conglomerate a lot of CSAs with only one server. Um, like that, they own their own databases, but they uh, can also share. That's the main idea also of the project. I mean, I mean to create a community of CSAs uh, that they can help each other, the big ones, they can help the small ones, and they can get it running uh, as fast as possible. So the technologies behind for the front end is, uh, is AngularJS, and for the server is, is Scala. So, so the current status of this, uh, so as I, men I already mentioned, this project uh, started a few years ago. And uh, right now we have a few groups already running with it. So we have, our, uh, we have eight CSAs in production right now that they are using it for their uh, daily business, right? And then we have another four onboarding CSAs that are uh, in the process of getting uh, all the data imported and you know, like, um, getting really uh, to work only with the tool. Uh, we have overall more or less 15 people working on the project on all kinds of topics because uh, as you can imagine, this, this, this topic is a very interesting topic on on the perspective that we mix the technology with people that are not the, the very interested with technology. So uh, we have a lot of people making the link, we have a lot of people working on it, uh, which was uh, absolutely great. It was translated already as six languages, and uh, after this talk I hope another two or three will come, right? <laughs> And then about the current numbers, we already deliver uh, more than 100,000 baskets uh, over those years. And we have three, more than 3,000 deliveries. Uh, you know, like it's, it's, really, it's really running and, and making uh, easier processes for them. Um, so one very big topic that we have now in our mind is uh, how we make it sustainable because it's uh, quite difficult to maintain this kind of projects, uh, but you all know from uh, the perspective of open source, right? Um, so we we are actually to um, trying to design the same kind of model that the CSAs are offering. So basically, in a CSA, everyone is sharing risks, and every every participant is trying to, um, well, it's, it's requested to have a commitment. The, the idea here is the same. Every CSA could participate uh, inside a, a bigger group, and they can share the hosting cost, the, host, the hosting work. They could, they could share, or, um, they could share according also to their size, uh, in a way that actually the bigger uh, actors they are helping and promoting the smaller actors to go a little bit, you know, to, to go up and being able to organize themselves in a more efficient way, right? Uh, Yes, so, um, and just uh, one of the last points is how are we organized? At the moment, 
Um, this project uh, was originally created in Switzerland for these two particular CSAs that were explaining their needs, right? Um, but uh, we had the contact uh, to other people in different places, uh, so we created this uh, informal organization that is Open Auditor International. We try to meet once a year. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Um, where everyone is invited, every people that is interested is invited, just to talk about the new lines and where are we moving the software and who is interested, um, which models can we cover with them, all kind of talk. Uh, then we have the official non-profit uh, organization in Switzerland to manage all the legal uh, aspects. Um, we are running, um, we are actually hosting and are running uh, for the eight CSAs that I mentioned. So uh, we have an organization that is helping them to do all the hosting work. And then uh, at the moment, Sunu has been working with us for already two, three years, um, promoting uh, CSAs digitalization. Uh, in Germany, uh, and they picked up an auditor from for for promoting this digitalization in in the, in the different in in Germany. So, um, how guys you get involved? That's the the very interesting question. So, um, basically, um, as I already mentioned, this 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 project it has a very very interesting part that this really technical people working with non-technical people and trying to make it work that it actually helps everyone. So uh, that's a, for me is a point that is very interesting. I never worked in, an, in, in, in a setup like that really. Um, yeah, the moment is becoming quite multi, multilingual. We are people from a few countries in Europe and it's uh, getting very interesting on, on, on this uh, at this level. Um, Obviously, those groups, they cannot, for them, it's a very big effort to basically um, onboard any kind of digital solution. So for them, their, their point of view is always long term. There is no option that they can change every three months. That's not an option. So it gives an stability to, to the project that is actually very interesting. And uh, as, uh, as you can imagine, the, the spectrum of tasks is incredible. You can really, from the, from the field, uh, to, uh, to make more kind of uh, promotion of the tool or to code or to translate, there is all kind of, of tasks that need, needs to be done, right? And uh, that's pretty much everything. I nailed it, two minutes. Um, so you... <laughs> So if you have any questions, or basically you can go here, you have a little bit of uh, the three main websites where you can get more information, or you can write us uh, directly and, uh, yeah. Yeah? What's the meaning of the name? Open Olitor. Olitor, it was a, f a farmer, right? In Latin. In Latin. So it's uh, Open Farmer. Yes? Actually, payment itself is not supported, but we can do the tracking of the payment. So SEPA, uh, SEPA uh, tracking is, is enabled and also the equivalent in Switzerland at the moment. Will it scale to the extent where the whole country, pretty much the whole country is using it? Sorry, sorry again? Will it scale to, the, to a level which will support everybody shopping this way? Yes, uh, well, actually, you know, like, uh, that's the... As I mentioned, you know, like a one server can can actually pro, uh, provide several CSAs. Uh, um, the idea is in case it, the, scal the scalability is possible. Is you can we don't promote. We like the idea that they create kind of communities that they can support each other. But we we can have a big actor that actually scale and really goes uh, for a really big number of CSAs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hi, thank you. Um, are you aware of the project called Ernte Thailand, uh, sharing the harvest, which is uh, actually uh, dealing with the fact that uh, people need to find farmers or, and farmers need to find people in the cities? Is that something you also do or like do you know of this? 
Uh, I don't know them. I'm pretty sure some of our colleagues uh, already, they are in contact with several organizations, so I wouldn't be surprised. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I'm going to know the name later. <laughs> yeah, I, I come later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there is time, one last there, but that I was don't time know. Up, I'm sorry. Yeah. 